Foundry Apprentice here to pour a silicone mold for you. So we're using this uh, wonderful smooth-on product called MoldMax 60. It's a heat-sensitive silicone that we use for pouring pewter into. Pewter melts at around 500 degrees. So theoretically, you could do it on your stovetop, but we kind of recommend that you don't, but you could. Just saying. Shout out to Smooth On. And the bright brick red color that you see inside this uh, silicone material is due to the fact that it contains a high content of higher iron oxide, which is what allows it to stay so heat safe. So right now I've mixed uh, part A and B of this silicone. It's, uh, the ratio is 100 to 3, this being part B. This molding material has a 40 minute pot life, which means that it'll stay workable for 40 minutes. The thing about silicone rubber is that it's prone to getting bubbles in your mold. So the interesting part of this video is gonna be the process of getting the bubbles out. set a timer for two minutes. I'm just going to let that um, degas for around three minutes. So we still have a few more seconds left. Before I turn this device off, I have to release the vacuum. If I were to just shut this off, all that vacuum pressure will go back in the motor and ruin it. So once this is depressurized, an adequately degassed pot of silicone here. So we sprayed this with a mold release about five minutes ago. And from here we're going to find the lowest point in the mold that we can find. And we'll start there and just pour from right there. If we just keep a steady stream from that one spot it's going to prevent more bubbles from forming. Stuff is 
viscosity doesn't really come out of the container as easily as we'd like. So we made uh, the flasking material for this mold out of some plexiglass that we cut down into small pieces. And we glued it down with some hot glue. That hot glue uh, holds it in place really nice and also forms a watertight seal so that the liquid can't come out. This is a messy process, as you can see. So we do whatever we can to try and keep our equipment and ourselves as clean as possible. self-level. So as uh, gravity does its thing, it's just going to form one even, smooth, flowed surface. I'm just going to do a little bit of tempting fate. Just move things around a little bit. Just let that hang out and think about being silicon. Thanks for joining us.